Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to burn or brand images into wood. This tutorial is an update to what I did quite a while ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. I provided this logo design and wood texture background so you can follow along. The file is located in the video description or project files. Keep in mind, the appearance of your finished wood burn effect will look differently depending on the wood texture you use. For example, if the wood is smoother, darker, and has a different color than this one, your wood burn effect will also be smoother, darker, and have a different color. The example I'll use in this video will be this logo I designed. However, if you want to use your own text, open your type tool, and make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they are not, press D on your keyboard or click this icon. Choose a font, make its size relatively large, and type out your text. You can reposition it with your Move tool. Make a copy of your text by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then control click or command click on the new layer icon to make a new layer below the text copy. Fill it with white by pressing control or command plus delete. Click the thumbnail of the text copy to make it active and press control or command E to merge it with the white layer below it. If you start with a black image on a white background, go to select and color range. Choose Shadows. This makes a selection of the black shape. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the black image from the white background. Drag Layer 1 to the top of the Layers panel. Whether you're using the black and white image I provided, or typing in your own text, the layers in both examples are essentially the same. Layer 1 is a black image on a white background, Layer 2 is a black image on a transparent background, and the bottom layer is the wood texture itself. The next steps will be exactly the same for both examples. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the cutout image to make a selection of its shape again. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand the selection one pixel. We'll fill it with black. And since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Invert Layer 1 by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. Make the method Wind, and the direction will either be ticked from the right or left. Whichever is ticked is fine. Click OK and press Ctrl or Command F twice to apply this filter twice more. Go back to Filter, Stylize, and Wind, and this time tick the opposite direction that was ticked earlier. Click OK and apply the filter twice more by pressing Ctrl or Command F twice. Press Ctrl or Command I to invert it, and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Open Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Make your output black 72. Click off the eyeball next to the middle layer to hide the layer. With the top layer still active, change its blend mode to color burn and reduce its opacity to 60%. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the cutout black image or your original text to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it two pixels. 
We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Reduce the fill to 40%. The reason we chose Fill instead of Opacity is because we're going to add layer styles to this layer. Reducing the fill lowers the opacity of the layer, but it doesn't affect the layer styles that we'll be adding to the layer. If we chose to reduce the opacity instead of Fill, it would also reduce the opacity of the layer styles. Double-click on the thumbnail of the top layer to open the Layer Style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Make the style outer bevel, keep the technique smooth, and make the depth 50%. The direction is up, and make the size 20 pixels. Uncheck global light. Make the angle 130 degrees, and the altitude 48 degrees. Reduce the highlights opacity to 0%. Make the shadow mode Linear Burn, and reduce the shadow's opacity to 22%. Click Inner Shadow. Change its Blend Mode to Linear Burn, and reduce its opacity to 10%. Uncheck Global Light, and make the angle 147 degrees. Keep the distance 5 pixels, and make the size 50 pixels, then click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.